here with Matt Ash. Um, Matt Ash, can you tell me a little bit about your influences? Uh, my influences. Uh, Willie Nelson is probably one of the biggest. Um, had to say, I'm multi multi genre when it comes to that. Um, uh, I like a lot of Sam Cooke, uh, Otis Redding, uh, Marvin Gaye, Tupac. Uh, Nirvana was a huge influence when I was when I first started playing guitar. So. Uh, any, anything alternative from the 90s. I'm a 90s kid skater, so. Right on. I pretty much fell into the same category. <laughs> I don't know. I was born in 74. Um, have you ever met any of your idols or? Um, I, I, I got to actually open up in 2014. I got to open up for Merle Haggard. Uh, it was probably the, wow. the highlight of my life right there right on. as far as music goes. Um, so you could spend a little time with him? Or, no, uh, no. It was, it was I, got, I got to watch him from a distance. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I ran sound for Dwight Yoakam once. And, okay, uh, okay. And when he comes on stage, you're not allowed to look at him. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. have to, like, turn and look the other way. <laughs> yeah. So uh, they're all a little bit different. Um, do you have a first uh, music teacher or someone who got you started? Uh, first music teacher. I'd have to say my dad. Uh, my dad played guitar. He played banjo. Uh, a lot of different instruments, actually. Uh, he really influenced not only me, but my whole family to kind of get musical. Uh, uh, my older siblings, they all play guitar. My little sister plays the piano, but we all sing. So that, so that was the next question. Is your family musical? Yeah, yeah. My, my family is. Uh, my, my mother and my father did, were a pretty well-known duo when it comes to church singings. Uh, what were, their, what were their names? Brenda and David. Brenda and David. Yeah. My, my mother's still living. She's a uh, she's still a nurse. She retired a few years ago, but she's still doing home health. Uh, my father passed away in 2006, uh, but uh, the music still lives on. You know. Yeah. And um, what was the first song you learned? Um, I was just talking about this the other day. I, uh, I picked up the guitar at about 11, and my Aunt Mildred, who was probably the biggest supporter of my music of all time, um, was uh, she bought me a guitar player magazine in 91, 92, and the first song I learned how to play was Iron Man off of the tablature of that. So, <laughs> my band more. does a cover of that song, but we do the Sir Mix a Lot version. Oh, okay. I don't know if you've ever heard that. I have, I have to check that one out. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a couple more. Uh, how do you handle mistakes when you're playing? Uh, push through. Push through. Uh, a lot of, lot of the, the, my influences and the articles that I've read have said if you make a mistake, just keep going. But that's one thing that when, my, when I was playing, learning to play guitar, I would stop and start all the way back over. And my dad always told me, just push through. And uh, I don't know if y'all caught any. I made a lot of mistakes tonight. Uh, but I just push through. You know what I mean? And one last question. Do you have any advice for beginners? Uh, for beginners, don't just stick to one genre. Uh, there's so many great music talents out there. Uh, so many great writers, so many great composers. Uh, learn everything you can about what you want to do. If you're playing guitar, learn it. Learn, I mean, everything from the basics all the way up to the complicated stuff. Uh, piano players, everything. I mean, just just dig into music because uh, don't limit yourself. There's, there's so much more out there than, than what, what you the genre that you're sticking to, and I guarantee you if, you, if you like punk rock and that's all you're going to listen to, you're going to miss out on so much more. Well, well I appreciate your time, Matt Ash. Right. My name's J.P. Richards with SEDX Live. And, uh, Thank you, sir. Thanks a lot, man. Thank you.